Today I'm going to take you through creating a sculpting brush preset library. So we just load up Cinema 4D and what we're going to do is create a new library and store our brush presets in there. So I'm actually going to switch to the sculpting layout with an object selected and that just having an object there means that these are selected which means are active so that we can actually start using these. Um, but first, before we begin, I want to create a library in Cinema 4D to hold the stamps for the brushes that we're going to be using, or that we're going to be creating. So here's the content browser, and I want to go File, Create Preset Library, New Preset Library. I'm going to call it Kent's Brushes. And in this folder, I'm going to create a new, uh, in this library, I'm going to create a new folder called stamps you could call it alphas or whatever you feel like and i'm going to drag and drop a couple of images in here off disk so that we can use those as our two new brushes and the reason i'm doing this is because the sculpt presets will reference these particular brushes so now the next step is to create my wax brush so i'm going to come in i'm creating a kind of a clay brush so just to show that some of these settings change i'm just going to change the pressure down and move that up a little bit and now I'm going to come over to Stamp, and I'm going to drag in one of these from our new library and drop it into here. I'm going to set this up by disabling Fall Off, enabling Follow, and now this will work like the brush that I like to have when I'm sculpting. And now I can come over to the Settings tab and click Save, and we'll call this Clay Brush, and that's the new brush. You can give it a description there if you need to. And what that does is that saves it into the user library. And there's this new folder here called Sculpt Brush Presets. That's the Sculpt Brush Presets themselves that you've just saved. And here is the little icon showing the icon for the YX tool for our new clay brush. So whenever you save a preset, it will use the icon for the brush that you saved it. So now if I came into this and I just reset that, look at the stamp tab there's nothing there either and if I double click this now double click it brings in sets the image sets the settings how we had them and sets everything else up as well so saving it from here going save brush preset will save all these settings you'll get the settings the fall off the stamp the symmetry stencils everything will be saved into this there's two other kind of presets you can have stamp presets and symmetry presets actually no it's just stamp presets oh stencil set presets so you can have stamped presets and stencil presets so if you did one of these it would just save these settings so then you could apply that to any brush you wanted um, so I, for instance if I save that as a stamp preset then I would be able to come across to the pool load that preset and it would have the same stamp options, but everything else would remain as it normally was. I'm not going to go into that right now, but they're there if you want to look at those as well. So for now, we're just focusing on full brush presets. So you need to be on the settings tab, and you save that. And that's what we created there. So again, I can just reset that, double click, and it and it sets everything. Clear that, double click, and you know everything comes in. Let's reset that. So now we want that to be part of our new library. So to do that, you just need to drag and drop that into there. So now come in here, and we've got our clay brush up here in our own library, and I can reset that and double click that. And so the important thing here was that the stamps are part of this library. If you're going to be making a library, you need to make sure that your textures are inside the library that you're going to be distributing, and then create your brushes using those stamps. That's the very important thing to do. So now we're pretty much done. So what you should be able to do now, in theory, I haven't tried this, is that you should be able to just uh, give this library to someone else. And to do that, I'm going to um, change over to using version R18 of Cinema 40 and use this exact same library. So I'm just going to close this down. Oh, before I do, I need to come up and find that library. So you go Edit Preferences and then go Open Preferences. And that will take you to where the files are in your installation for your your user preferences. And under Library, under Browser, you'll see your brushes there. So that's the brush library that we just created. 
So now I'm going to load up R18 here. But here it is. And what I'm going to do is come up to the preferences for R18. Just open up the preferences there for R18. And I'm going to come in. And I'm going to go to Library, Browser. And I'm going to drop in that same library that we just created. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it into R18. So now it's in my R18 presets. Let's bring up the content browser in R18. And let's have a look if it's here yet. No, I may need to restart R18 to get those presets up. So let me just do that. So I have R18 loaded up. Now I go content browser in R18. And here we can see Kent's brushes. So come through, we've got the stamp in there. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to bring in a model. Make it editable. Switch to a sculpting layout. And I'm going to subdivide that up. Bring the content browser back up. I'm going to double click on the clay brush. And we can see it set the size and pressure. And the stamp has come through. And now I can come in and I've got my clay brush in R18.